Gas Laws 2, looking at Dalton's Law and Graham's Law problems. So here's um, the, the, here are the formulas for Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. You could say the pressure of each individual gas is equal to the total, or you can say that the mole fraction times the total pressure for each gas um, will give you the total. So here's an example. Um, you have information for carbon dioxide and methane gas given moles, volume, and temperature. So this is moles N. Oops. So this is moles N. This is volume V. And this is temperature T. Don't forget to convert to Kelvin. So this is 301 Kelvin. And you have a partial pressure of CO2. So this is PCO2. How do you get PCH4. Okay, so what you do, first you can get total pressure, and that's going to be NRT over V. Alright, so then uh, moles, and let's just um, go ahead and solve down here, 0 0.201 moles times 0 0.0821 uh, liter atmospheres per Kelvin mole and times temperature 301 Kelvin all divided by so it's all of this divided by 3.00 liters which is the same thing as a cubic decimeter um, what you get there is 1.65 atmospheres. Now, we have our partial pressure of carbon dioxide, the 44.5, which happens to work out if you uh, multiply that by one atmosphere over 101.3 kilopascals. That's the conversion factor you will get 0.439 atmospheres for the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So, to get the partial pressure of methane, all you have to do is take the total pressure minus the pressure of the CO2 or 1.65 minus 0.439 and you'll get 1.21 atmospheres. So that is the answer. Um, if you convert that back into kilopascals, you'll get 123 kilopascals. And that's the end of that problem. And there's your answer right there. Okay, so going on to Graham's Law problem. Graham's Law of Diffusion is just the rates of two gases is inversely proportional to the square root of their molar masses. So, for example, if you have a mystery gas and it diffuses 1.98 times faster than CO2, what is the formula mass? So you can use this formula to identify sometimes the gas. Um, here it tells you the left side of the equation. So 1.98 times faster is really the ratio of R1 over R2. So you have 1.98 is actually equal to the square root um, Okay, um, the right hand side of the equation. So then um, you can substitute in this is where it can get confusing. So you have to remember that the rates is inversely proportional to the square roots of the molar masses. Um, so you have to remember to substitute in if you know um, that this is, that one here is the mystery, um, then two must be the uh, carbon dioxide. So we're gonna have carbon dioxide or so one is mystery, 
and 2 is carbon dioxide. And you have to kind of keep that straight. So here you would have um, carbon dioxide's molar mass, which would be 44 grams per mole, divided by, um, oh, this is a 1, isn't it? Okay, divided by the mystery what we'll call x. So you would square both sides. So you'd have 1.98 squared is equal to 44 over x. Now solving for x, you would have 44 divided by 1.98, the quantity squared, which works out to be roughly 11.2 grams per mole. And there's your answer. Okay, uh, that's it for today.